technology and the medical technology that's being used in the wireless space these days. Practice Fusion very much has a place in that marketplace. And with me is Matthew Douglas, who is the co-founder and VP of Platform for Practice Fusion. And Matthew, good to have you with us here in the Buzz Zone. Thanks so much. Yeah, tell me uh, about uh, just a, a general background of the company. I know 97 million people are using in one form or another your services around the country. That's a big number. That's right. So Practice Fusion is an electronic health record platform. It's a web-based system, so doctors log into our electronic health record software online. They document their patient encounters, they diagnose their patients using our platform, they e-prescribe, they order labs, they document allergies. Pretty much anything you can think of that a doctor needs to do on behalf of a patient, they store digitally on our platform. So we, we are responsible for about five million patient visits every month in the U.S., and that number is growing rapidly. Uh, about three million prescriptions are written on our platform every month by our doctors who are logged in 10, 12 hours a day in some cases. And we have 91 million patient records on our system. So the, the next, the big jump, you know, where's that coming for you? I, I, I talked about wearables there for a little bit. I talked about you know, the different bio, biometric technology that we have out there available and all the stuff we're recording about our bodies and about our, our, our symptoms, if you will. What does that mean to you? Well, I think it's fantastic that people are starting to uh, collect information about themselves. I talk about it as a quantified health movement. You've heard of quantified self, but where you can really take action on that information is when it becomes quantifiable uh, from the perspective of your health. So tracking whether you're taking your meds or not, that's a quantified health um, metric. Tracking how your blood pressure is doing day to day with the blood pressure cuff that you have at home, or your pulse, ox your pulse oximetry, or your peak flow, depending on what condition that you have at that moment. Even testing your blood glucose level uh, if you're a diabetic. That's a value that you're collecting. That's, that's important for patients to have access to it, but where it really becomes valuable is when doctors have access to that data as well. So flowing that information across APIs and conduits, basically technology conduits that the practitioner has created, can get that data in front of doctors to make better clinical decisions for those patients. I can tell you, I mean, from firsthand experience, we were talking about this earlier, but um, because I've got a little AFib situation, so on the back, I've, I've got what is an Alive Core application here that uh, allows me to take mobile EKGs, transmit to my cardiologist, and you can read that EKG uh, immediately and get right back to me. And this is the kind of application you're talking about that people are finding of great value. Exactly. And that's I can a great, attest to that firsthand. That, that's a great example of patients taking more control of their health. They can measure something right now that you used to have to go to a hospital and put a bunch of electrodes on your body to tell how your ECG, EKG were doing. Um, now that's in your hands, and it just so happens Practice Fusion has an integration partnership with AliveCore, so, so those EKGs actually flow to our electronic health record with the push of a button, and a doctor can access um, what you've collected at home when they see you in the office. I would think, too, that uh, privacy has got to be a paramount concern to Absolutely. you. Absolutely. And, and uh, it's always been important, but even more so as we hear about data breaches and, and mm -hmm. the commercial world and all. Uh, what, does that keep you up at night? I mean, is that a challenge for you as more people uh, adopt uh, this kind of technology and their behaviors being modified a little bit and, and to get them to generally accept it? Uh, there, there are definitely um, challenges associated with this. It does not keep me up at night uh, because there are very specific standards that Health and Human Services within the federal government have defined. Everybody knows about HIPAA. Um, HIPAA actually gives us a very easy way to talk about this with our doctors, talk about this with, with the press, and talk about this with patients. There are specific things that companies who are partnered with physicians are required to do when it comes to encryption, when it comes to protecting the identity of those patients, when it comes to logging who's looking at that patient's information, opening that patient's chart, for instance. Things that you couldn't do, you, you had no idea who's opening a paper chart and seeing your personal information. But in an electronic system, it's very easy to do that because we just log who was logged in and compare it to which patient that they looked at. So there's actually a lot better controls for privacy and security with an electronic health record than there would be in a paper world. Uh, obviously, it's par of paramount importance to us, like you mentioned. Uh, everything we do is with the privacy and security and protection of that patient information um, at the front of our minds. And it's, well, it's very important for us. Well, it's a fantastic new world, I know, for you. Uh, best of luck down the road with that, because I know you're providing just a tremendous service for uh, millions of people around this country. Thanks so much. Very Thank kind you. of you to say. Thank you.